Alrighty, waiting for the camera to settle down and welcome back to number three of my video blog presentations. Uh, once again, this one is unrehearsed. I have no notes to refer to, but that's alright. We'll rely on my memory and my quick thinking to get us through. Now, first of all, I have to do a shout out, which is a cheerio, hello, what's up, to Malie, who is a friend of Benny's and... Um, I think he wants me to get her to mention her name, so she's in here at the start of my web celebrityness, if that's a word, which I know very well it isn't. I must say, Benny has been remarkably supportive and encouraging in this whole wacky idea of mine, and it even seems he may have gotten a bit carried away, bless him, into thinking that I'm going to be the next big web celebrity. And he's even given me tips on how to do so, such as... Uh, well, he's saying I need a trademark, something that's distinctly me that nobody else would do. Yeah, I got nothing. And he said I should also make it more funny. Uh, apparently I'm much more fun to talk to in person than I am to inter well, to watch on video. Of course, I've only got his word for this, but it does make sense to me. You see, I think uh, most comedy arises from interacting with people. And, well, I haven't really got anything to interact with here, have I? I'm just looking at the camera. And I'm not getting your reactions. I'm kind of gauge how well it is I'm uh, grabbing your interest or how funny my jokes are. If you watch any professional co uh, comedian, sorry. If you watch any professional comedian, I think they're at their very best when they're interacting with the audience directly. Uh, sure, their rehearsed material is good, and it often has to be, I suppose, if that's what earns them their bread. But, you know, it's really the interaction with the audience that you live to see. Uh, that's when they're really at their best. Uh, there was a stage comedian called Jim Owen. I think he's Australian. I'm not sure if how far into the rest of the world he got. I've only ever heard of him in Australia-related things, anyway. And Jim Owen, he turned out to be a very funny stand-up comedian, but there was a skit show on TV here called Thank God You're Here, and it was all about improvising. And when Jim Owen guest starred on that show, he really flopped something horrible. He was no good at improvising and thinking on the fly. He was only funny when he could do the, his whole rehearsed routine. So, I mean, I lost a little bit of respect for him for that, but, you know, still making a living as a comedian, which is more than I could ever do. So there you go. Uh, now, let's see, to address some of the concerns people have had, uh, I've turned off the automatic focusing of uh, my camera, or at least turned it down a bit, so things shouldn't be so blurry when I move now. It should, hopefully, stay in focus for a bit longer. Uh, it was Amber who raised that one. And I've also decided against doing any more at work. It really is a little bit too akin to goofing off, even if it is only for five minutes. As harmless as that sounds. Um, I'm preparing at the minute to do my next uh, book review, in fact. Uh, so Amber suggested that I do a book review, and I've just finished reading one of Larry Niven's books, so that'll be my next project after this one. And I'm struggling to fill the time all of a sudden. <laughs> all the things I have prepared. It's terrible. I've done the shout-outs. So we've got next. I have been listening... Ah, oh, that's it. Yesterday evening, Ang installed a brand new 5.1 speaker system into his uh, room. He got some $700 monstrosity. Totally blows my mind. And uh, we actually spent a couple of hours last night just in his room with the lights out, listening to music, and basically putting the system through its uh, paces. It was very impressive, and in particular, one of Sarah McLaughlin's albums. If only I could remember what it was called. Ah, so sad, so horrible, well, not horribly sad. I love it. She's got a beautiful voice, but it's just so sad. I think it's called Angels. Could well be. And in a similar vein, just now I've been listening to Coldplay's Viva La Vida which is a song we have noted that uh, we don't know anyone who doesn't like it yet. If you know the song and don't like it, let me know. I'll be writing a bit more about this one when I get the chance, because I think it's very special. In fact, Coldplay has uh, taken a bit of my thought time at the minute on account of what they've achieved. But my five minutes is up. There's the timer. 
I shall see you later.